Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Polly. I'm pre-recording a lot of videos today just in case you see me in a sweater for a whole month. Well, <laughs> I do change clothes, but either way, today we're talking about musk. So I'm going to introduce to you my musk fragrances and uh, yeah, obviously I have them because I love them, but they will, they, I mean, listen, they all smell differently. Okay, so let's just kind of get um, some out of the way. The Narciso Rodriguez, I have a full review of them. Check it out. But, ta-da and ta-da, okay? They're all floral. I would say this is less floral, more plum and suede. But <clears throat> orange blossom, crisp and white musk. Cedar, think vetiver, and gardenia, more heavy kind of um, professional. Rose and peony in your face fragrance with musk. Okay, check them out. But these guys are definitely more on the white, crisp kind of musk that is very easy to use on a daily basis. Then, let's move on. Okay, so I have here, by Ajmal, I have Wissau. With sal, you have rose, spices, sandalwood, musk, and other floral notes. Basically, this is Roses Musk by Montal, cheaper and better. The musk here is more crisp, clean, less heavy, less cloying, um, less irritating, less animalic. I prefer this one. I decluttered my Roses Musk. I prefer this one. Then you have Wissal Dhahab, which in, if I have to choose, I think Wissal Dhahab is better. Just as a scent, they don't smell anything alike. This one in the opening, you have a lot of fruits like pear, apple, um, grapefruit, and something else. Um, then you have geranium, orchid, rose, jasmine, and in the base, which I was correct about the base, cedar, sandalwood, then patchouli, and musk. Now, all those fruits, basically, they give you a fruity sweetness. And the floral, they just give you a general floral concept. For me, the orchid really plays a beautiful role here. The geranium adds a little bit of a, that kick of a spice without being in actual spicy fragrances with spices. But for me here, the key is the cedar and the sandalwood. A woody base doesn't always make the fragrance a woody fragrance. It doesn't mean that the fragrance is actually gonna smell like the woods. This one does. And those two are some of my favorite woods because they're so round and so, so, so cozy. Um, and the musk here is clean. Oh. Tiny, 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 tiny bit animalic. Just a smidge. Uh, barely noticeable, but just enough to make it very oriental and cool and interesting, but so easy to wear. So easy to wear. I adore this fragrance. Again, also one of my best blind buys. Not an expensive fragrance at all. Love this one. All right, moving on to Latafa Opulent Musk. Bacra Rouge with Oud and Musk, and a Malik Musk, Dirty Musk with the Oud. I love it. Only for fall and winter it is, uh, for me, it's kind of, you know, in the, in the opening, it's very heavy on the Oud and the Musk, kind of that and Malik, and the Oud really supports that nature of this Musk. It's animalic, but in a clean way. It doesn't smell like sweat. Sometimes animalic on me, on my skin at least, turns sweaty. This one doesn't. It remains that raw, woody musk. I absolutely love this fragrance. Superb. Let's, uh, let's go towards one that I wore yesterday. Okay, so, okay, let me dedicate a moment, conversation for this guy, okay? Now, I reviewed this fragrance. Maybe I'll leave a link somewhere. Maybe not. 
a while ago. Did my opinion change? Not really, but I want to add a few elements. Okay. I am talking about Valentino. Full name, no year, absolute. Musk essence. Um, got this one. Uh, fragrance Act, Fragrance Net. It was on discount. Love Valentino. Love Musk. Um, I mean, the bottle is just awesome. So, I will give you notes for a lot of these fragrances somewhere here, but I rather kind of explain how it smells. Now, through me doing videos, um, <clears throat> I understand that more people than I thought do appreciate um, vintage tones, notes, um, um, kind of atmosphere fragrances. I'm not alone. This is a vintage musk. It is clean musk, but it's kind of a vintage cleaning. Um, I said it reminded me of my grandma. For some reason, people think, you know, grandma fragrance, oh, it's horrible. Oh, no. it's more of, a, of an age time in history when certain fragrances were made. This is beautiful clean white mask, but it does have a vintagey element to it, which I personally love, 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 love. It's beautiful. It's, it's really, really, really freaking beautiful. Very unique. Let's just say, if if you understand that saying smells like a grandma, people that say that, they just don't have a palette for vintage. Um, what they like in fragrances is very limited and they're kind of chasing the new. So it's not, it's a negative for them, but it, therefore it is not negative in general. But if you like a bit of bit, a little bit of a vintage and unique, if you can find this one, go for it. Originally, I did not find this to perform very well. It sat, I think it's been a year ago that I bought this fragrance. It sat. I sprayed this one yesterday. Me check um in the evening and i woke up today because of this fragrance like i still wore the shirt kind of you know and it woke me up i could still smell it in the morning vividly vividly and i can still smell it right now I kind of sniffed my shirt but either way it's um I find this fragrance to be beautiful. I do see people not. And I do see people who like the vintage, who think kind of like me that grandma fragrances is not a bad thing. Certain fragrances, period, can just be not your taste or just, you know, even the vintage can be just not your taste. Doesn't make it a grandma fragrance, you know? But um, I love this one. It really grew on me. My first impression of this was hideous. And I really, really love it now. I cherish it. And it does remind me of my grandma. But in the best way possible. She was all, always like taking like three baths and showers a day and creams and lotions and little, uh, little soaps, you know, that you put in your closet to make your sheets and everything smell good she was one of those like all we're doing it and everything smelled very clean and crisp and kind of with that musk scent either way moving on next one the alien musk majestic majestic mysterique i keep calling it majestic because it's majestic because of this the damn purple and the throne Mystery. Okay, I don't know. Either way, this guy. 
So, besides the beautiful box, besides the fact that it's a Mugler and it's discontinued and it's a musk, what do we have? My first impression was very similar, that it's um, old-fashioned. Yeah. And it is. So, <laughs> you do get the jasmine of the original alien, but it's not in the front. It's not dominating. All the rest of the notes are taking <laughs> its place in the hierarchy and it is um, more dirty not animalic I wouldn't say animalic I would say more dirty and more spicy kind of musk kind of like a spicy woody dirty musk um, maybe almost will remind you of a fragrance that yes, maybe your grandma had, but it stood there for like 20 something years and she barely used it. And then you smell it and it's kind of like the, all the floral and, and the ambers and the musk and the woods kind of became this peculiar old scent, but not in a bad way here because of the jasmine. <laughs> If that's all it was, I would be like, so you sold me a very old fragrance? But no, it's not. It's a very beautiful fragrance. Obviously, this one does develop a lot. There is a lot of um, stages to it. That aspect kind of clears out a little bit, doesn't go away, clears out a little bit. The jasmine kind of pulls a little bit more and it creates a beautiful balance and it's this is a stunner. This is um, perfection for winter and fall. Never to be sprayed directly on clothes, at least. And not if they are of a light color. Only on brown and black. It will stain. It's a, but this one is a must. I really, really love it. It's so unique. It's so... I love more um, of those old school... <sighs> kinds. Woody and musky with that jasmine oh it's beautiful i love it to the obvious suspect montal black musk i mean <laughs> your notes are musk now the musk here it, kind of a little bit on the cleaner side it's it's animalic but i smelled worse from them like more animalic like straight up sweat on me at least this one is on the balance of a little bit sweaty but a little bit clean as well why is it black because then you have leather you have a nutmeg you have black pepper amber teak wood sandalwood and patchouli i i freaking love this one <laughs> It's not one that I wear often. I think if I was living in much colder weather, I would. It's very, oh, because I feel that my warm skin um, does something inappropriate with the musk that just turns them so animalic. Because the way it smells on my skin versus paper, not identical. On paper, it smells, the musk smells much more towards the clean direction with all those spices and woods on top. On my skin, the musk becomes more animalic. <sighs> if you have cold skin or cool skin, I don't know, but <sighs> be beautiful. I've been loving it on myself. I do prefer to spray this one on clothes so it smells more like it does on the strip. But uh, it's one of the best. It's one of the best masks, honestly. Unisex, badass, edgy, sexy. It cleans up a little bit, but you got like, but. If you're thinking, oh my God, Montal, leather, what kind of leather? It's not industrial. It's not heavy. It's not 
it's just beautiful. You think, oh my God, the nutmeg and the patchouli and the pepper. Yes and no. You get all of that dirty, aggressive kind of masculine notes, but they're delivered in a 100% approachable manner to anybody with a beautiful, beautiful mask. This mask, unlike, again, Montal's mask, then at the beginning when I was smelling Montal, purchasing Montal, reading reviews about Montal, a lot of people complain about the mask. I could not understand because I got the mask and I was like, oh my God, it's, it's amazing, it's unique, it's so animalic and sexy until it hit me and I couldn't. I get what they're talking about with the mask that they just can't. I'm there now. Well, but not with this one. Not with this one. Dang it. If you're a man and you love musk, please get this one. For fall and winter, especially if you love your leather jackets. Oh my God, why don't you have this? If you love musk fragrances, why don't you have this by now? It's... Your loss. All right, and the next one is one of my top favorite fragrances in my collection. One of my top favorite fragrances by Mansera, and it was my first Mansera fragrance. And I don't use it often because I'm greedy, and this specific one is very hard to come by on a discount. We're talking about Pearl, the number one fig fragrance. Come at me. Try me. If you have never smelled this one, don't even bother. It's my favorite because a fig can be, with certain fragrances, too green. Oh, I don't like that. Too bitter. No, thank you. Too sweet. Oh, no. Just kind of too much of something. Here, the fig. You get the leaf aroma without the bitterness and the greenness of it. You get the sweetness and the juiciness of the fig meat without it being a cloying, juicy, not juicy, um, overly sweet, fruity fragrance. It's not. It is fresh, 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 beautiful fragrance. I wear this with ease at my 120 degrees in Arizona, okay? Fresh fragrance without being green, without being sharp, without being bitter, without losing sweetness of the fruit, but yet there's nothing, you would never be like, oh, this is a sweet fruity fragrance, because it's not. No. If you ever ate fig, just picked it from the tree open and ate it, that is how it is. This one also has musk. The musk here, unlike some by Mancera, that can also be a little, not for everybody, it is clean 100%, nothing dirty, nothing animalic at all, mm -mm, nothing, pure, clean, bright, as clean as they come, poofy, which creates almost like a milky feel to this fragrance, because when you break the fig, on the tip of the stem, there's that white milk. Um, I don't know if it is milk. I don't know if there's a better word for it. Probably there is. I don't know it. I'm okay with it. But that's kind of what it creates with the musk. It's beautiful. I highly recommend this fragrance to white um, musk lovers and fig lovers. Amazing, phenomenal, 100% unisex just and i know there's some niche fragrances with fig that cost a hell lot more than this last a less time than this smaller bottle than this yet no one is talking about this why why this is better did i smell them on no but i'm still convinced that even if i do i still will say that this is better ta-da it's amazing the dry down um, does go to that really creamy, clean, fresh musk. 
it's just beautiful it's beautiful there's nothing not to love about this fragrance from opening to end it's just perfection then we have musky garden musk berries and florals right very musky um oh, miss dior would i i have miss dior I know people comparing it to Miss Dior, I would say no. This is more fruity, it's more sweet, it's musky. I mean, is the floral kind of similar? Maybe, but there's like berries in here um, and there's a lot of fruity sweetness and there's a lot, a lot of musk. Very feminine. Um, if you're kind of looking for a floral, beautiful musk, I would say this is better than uh, Rose's Musk. To my taste, because this is so much like Rose's Musk, this one is better as well. Um, to compare it to the Narcisa Rodriguez, for example, I wouldn't do comparison because they smell completely different. So I uh, don't compare things that just because on paper it's the same word called musk. Doesn't matter. Um, the musk here is completely different. The floral and everything is very different. This is a beast mode. It is the musk is here and it's soaked with berries. Okay, and it's sweet and floral and feminine and beautiful. And this is um, nothing in the mouth happening here. Nothing dirty. No, forget about it. It's a very beautiful, pretty feminine musk. Done. That's all I gotta say. Just, it's beautiful. S super feminine. Then we're gonna go to Nina Ricci. If you're forgetting your full name, Rose Extase. I got the other toilet. So listen, this is an auto toilet, but it lasts only eight hours easily. So Rose, was it also raspberry? some other notes, and uh, uh, musk. Now, again, I prefer this one over Rose's musk, and I prefer this one over this one as well. How? Why am I comparing this to Rose's musk and this, right? This is not Middle Eastern. It doesn't really matter because the musk really does behave here very similarly to me on my skin to a Middle Eastern musk. It turns musky you know what I mean like how musk can smell differently this one smells very musky it kind of goes to a very pleasant feminine enamelic like uh, it's uh it goes yeah I mean um, it opens bright and beautiful and rosy with raspberry was it some citrus or bergamot, whatever is in there, or pink pepper? That's the opening. That it becomes sweeter. But my dry down and kind of hours later, I will pick up on all those nuances. But through it, I always get a musky musk. That with with time gets more and more musky because all the pretty notes dissipate, 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 and I'm left with a rosy musky musk. Not a bad musk, no. Not a sweaty musk, but a musky musk. But I do think, again, it's my personal skin. <sighs> but I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorite. I know that this one I don't use all that often. I was thinking to put it on my Mercari. I just don't want to. So what if I don't use you often? I still love it. Sometimes I'll spray certain fragrances in the room or something like that. Plus, I mean, like, you can't, I mean, they look so good together. You know? <laughs> Such a stupid reason. I know. But, oh well. All right, guys. Well, this is it for today for me, my musk fragrances. And again, the fact that there is a musk is a no doesn't make, the, you know, the fragrance musky necessarily. But these guys, you really get the musk. It's not just a note or to give something to a fragrance. 
it is really present especially all the other ones um, after the Narciso Rodriguez that I mentioned all the Middle Eastern ones they're really you know the Mancera Montals they all have a very dominant presence of their musk so it's not just for the base or something in the background all right guys I hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up if you didn't well why were you watching till this point point? and do subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time bye